about this news that came across my Twitter feed, and I decided we had to we had to do a show tonight and talk about it. Uh, so what was that? What did you see, man? All right, I saw some tweets from your boy Lil Tunchi, and I'm actually going to read them since I, I pulled them out right now, and we'll see what you, what you think about it. It says. To all my fans, I want you to know that my album won't and hasn't been released because Baby and Cash Money Records refuse to release it. This is not my fault. I am truly and deeply sorry to all my fans, but most of all to myself and my family for putting us in this situation. I went off this label and nothing to do with these people, but unfortunately it ain't that easy. I'm a prisoner and so is my creativity. Again, I am truly sorry and I don't blame you if you're fed up was waiting for me in this album, but thank you. What are your thoughts? First, the fat boys break up now. This man, I'm crazy <laughs> in these streets, man. <laughs> man, it's just been a rough year, man. It's, you just seen Wiz and Amber break up, Nick and Mariah, uh, Tiger, Black China, now Wayne and uh, Bird, man. Like Wayne probably about to get back with Gilly or something. Like it's crazy out here. I ain't never expect this. Yeah, I definitely did not expect this. We all thought, did you see the story? Did you see the story about Tiger? A couple, maybe it was like a month ago, he put, he had an um, interview with Vibe, and he put out a couple of tweets basically saying he doesn't get along with anybody at YMCMB, and he wanted off the label. Yeah, like the writing been on the wall for a while. Um, it's, like, it's like everybody getting fed up with, the young money right now, uh, or, or, or cash money. Like Busta Rhymes, he was signed over there, and he left. Uh, Mystical left. Tiger won out. Um, like the dude, Jay Sean, that they had, he left. Uh, young MC left. Like, no, he wasn't with them, but no, everybody. <laughs> uh, like, everybody just been leaving, man. Like, the writing been on the wall since, like, um, when they came out, like, in the early... They came out in '99, like the early 2000s, when Juvenile and Manny Fresh, like it, it's something wrong the whole time. And uh, so, in answer your question, like in reference to, um, like what Tiger was saying, he basically was saying that he was over there just for um, because of Wayne. Like he was saying that Drake's fake and he don't get along with Nicki. So, um, so it's, 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 oh, matter of fact, a little twist. He um. He was saying that Cash Money ain't put out his album. I mean, I don't know who would, but with Cash Money didn't <laughs> put. <laughs> hey, Cash Money ain't put Lil Twist album out. I think Lil Chucky left. The dude Short Dog left. <laughs> that, that that label is just crumbling, man. They had a they had a lot of people signed that just not nothing ever came out. As an entertainer, as a MC yourself, if Birdman gave you that call tomorrow and said play ball. Got a contract for you. <laughs> Are you going to sign? Uh, let, me, let me keep it genuine. Like, I don't know, like, really? Um, I'd be, like, real skeptical about signing a major right now, you like, in the gotta days. Do a collaboration with, you got to do a collaboration with Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan. It's part of the deal. Listen, Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan is today's that's today's Frankie Beverly and Maze, man. They are legends <laughs> right now. <laughs> Listen, bro. Uh, like, Young Thug today, Shakespeare, bro. <laughs> my, uh, my, my jewelry real metal like a can opener. Like, this, he's the next Big Daddy Kane, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. But, uh, but now I'll just decide, though. Um, now I'm really, like, the writing been on the wall, man, um, as far as um, cash money, like Tiger. Like I seen an interview Tiger did a little while ago with the Breakfast Club, and um, he basically was saying that the money that he got, none of it was from from like nothing to do with cash money. It was like all money he made on his own. Like, and people like Manny Fresh used to say that they wasn't getting paid. So, I mean, I like sign up with them, I'd become famous. But, you know, I'd rather get my money. I'd rather have money than fame, so. So you rather either do a deal with somebody that is going to su- support you financially or you would just rather stay independent and just manage your own finances? Honestly, like, yeah, I'd rather stay 
independent. Like, um, cause I wouldn't want to go through the same thing they they going through. Worry about when the album going to come out and somebody telling me which singles to do and stuff like that. I'd rather just like if it if I if I succeed, it's going to be because of me. If I fail, it's going to be because of me. I'm going to be sitting around putting my career in somebody else's hand. I'd rather have that kind of control. So. For y'all who don't know, go on iTunes, Will Ruck, buy it, buy everything that comes up, buy a couple copies for the holidays. Yeah, man, you got to support that Will Ruck. Uh, anybody who don't know, do some Christian hip-hop. Uh, you know, not like your little uh, Kirk Franklin. Like, no disrespect to him or nothing, but and, it ain't going to be stomp. But, you know, it's just something. Uh, basically, I just talk about my life and how... Uh, like God, how God's been good to me. We made that to talk about my life. So if you like, whether you like Christian hip hop or not, like if you just like hip hop, you'll appreciate it. Right, right, right. And, and I could test, and I can um, give a testament. It is not whack. It's actually got some bars on there, even though it is clean. You can play it with your grandma in the room. You play it with the kids in the room. They ain't cursing. He ain't saying anything explicit, but he do got bars on there for people who do like hip hop. So, you know, that's the promotional side part of the show. We're gonna get that out of the way. Will Ruck, we'll make sure y'all cop that. Yeah, this episode was sponsored by Will Ruck. Um, that's how we did this commercial in between of what we was talking about. But uh, yeah, a couple of people.